did you know that you can create variables in Power Query and use them to filter your tables? So that's what I'm going to show you in this video and with a practical case, obviously, so you know why is that useful. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have in front of us a list of exchange rates from the Swedish crown to the US dollar and the euro. And you can see, obviously, we have two records per day, once for each currency. And what we would like to do in this case is just to get the latest records with an S for the latest date. So for the 4th of March, we would like to have the uh, row 5 and 6. Okay, so how to do that? Let me show you. What we're going to do is actually filter the table. So I am going to actually filter the table to have Power Query help me write the code. I do this all the time and I find this so useful. So grab one column and do the filtering and that is going to give you this table select rows which is basically filtering the table. What we're going to do is what we normally do that is change the condition to actually filter the table. And the condition for this is going to be creating a variable. So I'm going to have a nested let statement within that step. Just follow along, it is actually very useful. So I'm going to have the latest date, this is going to be the variable name, and then we're going to do the least max of the um, previous step. So we want to have it from the table that we see here, which is the table from that step. So we're going to grab that, change tape, type, and then we're going to grab the column date. So what I'm saying here, is that I want from the table that was provided on the previous step, go to the date column and get me the max date. So that is going to store the 4th of March. And now how do we apply a filter to that? So what we're going to do is continue doing that. We're going to execute that let statement. So we're going to do for each is equal to the variable name, latest date. Okay, that's all you need to do. And when you do that, and you don't put too many parentheses, <laughs> you're going to get the latest records for the specified date. So instead of getting just the one record, you're going to get all of them for that date. If you just want to get one record, I have another video for you. This that that one there. I'm going to highlight it. If you want to have a similar approach that does this, but it's just a little bit more convoluted, but you might want to try it anyway in case you have performance issues, that's the video to get or there. I think it's there. Okay, so I will see you again on the next video. Until then, take care.